So what do we got here? We got this Pro-Am. It's a 12 foot jib or crane, but we left this four foot extension out because well, we're in the house and we don't want to break the ceiling. And we got the cheaper camera on the end here because that's what we have at the moment. But it's looking pretty good. Okay, so you can go up and down manually with the um, mechanical arm there. And this motor here allows us to go side to side and up and down a little bit more, but this is more for side to side. Now this whole thing is wired back down the arm. Oh, let me get on the other side here. It's wired down the arm to this HDMI 7 inch monitor. So, Alex, take the controls again. And then try, try um, using the motorized. Try, oh, oh, what's the ceiling there? Yeah. Uh, try um, try uh, using the motorized thing to actually look at something on the camera. And there's a timeout on the camera because we're not actually recording, but you get the idea. This whole thing is self-powered by, as we come down here, this 12-volt uh, battery pack. This 12-volt line is going to the monitor. This 75-watt power inverter is going to this extension cord, which is actually running up the arm here to right here and is powering with the um, motorized uh, swivel head. There's other plugs we can use, which we will use later to power a camera. We didn't plug the camera in right now. So that's the monitor. This battery pack is actually an eight amp, uh, rated for about 30 hours. I don't know if it'll actually do 30 hours, but it'll be a lot longer than the battery packs that came with this, which would last about what, an hour. Uh, longer than the batteries in this thing uh, and if the camera were attached longer than the battery in the camera would last and just so you can see how this thing moves now this is the Casio EXF Oh, okay. EXF1, which is the slow motion camera, but it also does HD video. Right now, we can't control the settings on the camera yet. Um, I need to check later if I attach the USB cable back down to a computer if we're able to manage the settings on the, uh, the camera. I know with the um, Canon 5D, uh, we have a USB extension cable that's long enough to run down the whole arm. If we attach that, we should be able to set up a little platform right here with uh, with my MacBook and uh, control pretty much all the settings on the camera so we don't have to keep running off to the end of the end of the arm there. That is a scary looking machine, especially in a house. It's kind of like alien coming to get you. It's alive! <laughs> 